G'day YouTube, back in the greenhouse again today. I thought I'd do a quick video on making Nepenthe seeds. Uh, I'm definitely not an expert at it, but starting to get some good germination rates and I thought I'd share what I do for my plants and hope it, hopefully it helps a few of you make some amazing hybrids and species in the future. I'll just swing the... You'll see here, I've got a few females there. That's Flexibilis platykyla, which I uh, pollinated a few weeks ago. See, I've divided the divided the female spike with these cable ties, and I've got a list in my notepad showing what the uh, the male parents used were. I'll give you a quick look around while I'm here. Big Vici I am. It's actually got hasn't quite come out yet but there's a another flower just starting to emerge in there so hopefully get some new hybrids out of that as well uh, there's also a uh, a female flower you can see this is what it looks like before it actually comes out you just notice a big bulge in the uh in the growth point i'm not sure if you'll actually be able to see in there but there's a female flower in there and that's on my uh, glandulifera cross taliensis. This picture came after repotting and looks like it got a little bit squashed. But the new picture coming is a better size. All right, going back to the task at hand. Sorry, move my finger. Now, I'm going to try and do this video handheld just because there's quite a bit of moving around. So up here, you can see I've got a few different male flowers. I've got uh, Maxima dark over here and Maxima cross taliensis. Maxima dark hasn't been a great pollen producer for me, uh, but I have managed to cross it with a few plants now and getting germination. So you almost can't see the pollen on it, which is very strange. But I won't use it for this video for that reason. So, I come up here. These cheap little tweezers have actually just been great for um, picking flowers. As you can see there, the pollen's ripe. It's gone all nice and fluffy. Uh, I can find a... A less mature male flower maybe in there it's a bit hard to see with the Sun but they'll they'll come out yellow sometimes red and you've got to wait till that point where they turn fluffy and show the the pollens ripened but to go find the female I'll bring you outside So here's the female spike on my Boschiana cross Zachariana, or formerly Fusca. Uh, unfortunately there's no, no good pictures on it at the moment, they've all sort of died off for winter. But a couple of good vines in there, and another basil starting. Well, all you need to do is just bump the of course I dropped the uh, the pollen head which you're always going to do and it's a nightmare just go along and try and get as much pollen onto that the tip of that female flower I'm still getting over a cold and got a bit of brain fog going on so I'm not going to try and use all the scientific names Let's see if I can get some good light for this. I'll, I'll come back, I'll do a whole lot more of these flowers after the video. But you can see there the petals are folded back and they're forming a lot of nice nectar on there. Which is a sign that it's it's ready to re receive pollen. And I'll show you the, lo the, the light on there. And hopefully, 
There you, go. you can just see the po little bit of pollen. I'll probably get a bit more pollen onto that flower head as well. Hopefully, in you know six or six to five months out here, uh, I'll have some nice seed pods. There's a few other flowers I've done out here. Uh, Nepenthes Rocco. These are just starting to swell. There's a couple of cool crosses I've done on there. And another Rocco flower. Usually I do divide it up into segments because I just have no need for that many seeds of the same hybrid or species. Uh, as you can see, the Rocco travels all over this fence. Which might be a video in itself, showing everything that's going on here. Got another flower, male flower over here, which is a Ventricosa, spath, Ventricosa cross spathulata crossulata from EP. I think it was originally sold as vent spath uh, lolii, but definitely doesn't have any lolii in there. This thing's throwing heaps of flowers for me. But the joys are growing outside. The possums have got to most of them. There's another one coming in there and another one coming in there. I right, hope this helps. And uh, I might look at doing a video on the other end of it once I get some more seeds to harvest. That's just a nice uh, single line of black. It's just starting to vine away out here. All right, enjoy. Cheers. All right, I've decided to uh, add a second part to my pollinating video. I took over the weekend and was going to get it up on YouTube, but after filming it, I decided that I'd add a bit more into it. So I thought I'd come and do the second part. You can see my greenhouse there. The light's lighting up. It's just coming onto sunset here now. I'll turn you around. This part might be a bit tricky to show, but... but uh, so this is a ventricosa, uh, ventricosa cross spatulata cross alata from EP. And if I find my tweezers, and I was explaining last time about the harvesting of pollen. Now I will also harvest pollen when I don't have a female ready Let's see if we can get the focus there uh i've just realized it's going to be too hard to do this with uh with one hand but what i was once i've got it harvested i'll uh i'll drop it into either one of these little vials or a little um envelope made of baking paper which I'll then leave inside. I'll put it in an airtight box full of uh, silica gel packets just to dry it out. I've heard some, some people will actually scrape all the pollen off. Uh, personally, I'm just not that keen. Uh, I'll have a look at some of the uh, outdoor growing naps here. I'll probably touch more on these in another video. But out here in Sydney, this it gets down to you know, four degrees some nights, and then through summer, it'll get up to 40, 42 degrees Celsius. And as you see, I've still got plenty of stuff out here that's just looking, still looking great. But we'll come back to my uh, my Bosiana cross Fusca flower, which I might have touched in the last video. The Fusca in it is. Actually, Zachariana. Now, if I can get it all to focus here. So, if you're working with uh, dried pollen from another uh, from another male you had in flower previously, or maybe you, you get someone who set, has sent you some pollen, uh, this I'll be using some VCIM off my big male. You can see here I've 
taken notes on which which pollen I need to put where as it can start, start getting a bit sorry about that just had a something went wrong with the camera there so some dried VHIM pollen and it's going on this section here just a small soft um, artist paintbrush I tend to dip it in the uh, nectar on the female flowers which just helps the pollen stick to the paintbrush a bit better and also to the female flowers should just be able to see that there and then same as repeating the process as using the pollen or the pollen heads straight off the male flowers uh, and so I'll just go along and try and hit each each flower in this section I did actually do this the other day so I'm just sort of topping up the pollen uh, see if I can get a bit more a few more seeds out of it yeah hopefully hopefully this video helps a few of you and uh, I'll keep keep working on a few more as time goes on but this actually the uh, the Bosciana Fusca VCIM has actually been one of my favorite hybrids I got from EP a while ago the plant itself got a bit beaten up when I moved last year and then I put it in a spot and it, it didn't like that it got attacked, attacked by caterpillars I also took cuttings well, I'll see if I can find as you can see it just goes wild I need to clean a lot of this area up but you can see here I'll see if I can get some light on it a little bit squashed but it has the potential to be an absolutely stunning plant um, unfortunately no no more pictures on it at the moment we're in the, it's the middle of winter so I don't expect too much out here it's definitely an area that needs a bit of clean up nice stinophyla growing outside and then my big truncata which Hopefully, I'll get to do some more breeding with soon, and it's coming back from its big repot. It's good to see a few more leaves growing. But yeah, hopefully that this helps, and hope you like and subscribe if you're enjoying it. And if you think of anything else you'd like to see or like me to show or need any help with anything, please feel free to message me, um, either here or Instagram. Cheers.